ladies and gentlemen, Miss Goldie Hawn. I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree, a tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the earth's sweet flowing breast, a tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray, a tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in her hair, upon whose bosom snow has lain, who intimately lives with rain. Poems are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. You know, the first time I learned about the environment was when I was in junior high school with my science fair project. This is really a true story, <laughs> believe it or not. I decided to grow lima beans under different conditions. <laughs> I, this experiment was called Beans in Music, and I saved three fruit jars, and I put lima beans in each jar. And the first jar I put in a windowsill with lots of light. And then the second jar sat on top of the stereo unit where I played like great music. It got great vibrations like Beethoven and Bach and I played Elvis and I played Little Richard and all that. Anyway, the third bean um, went inside the cellar. Now, the bean on the windowsill did very well, as you can imagine. The bean that had sun and music was like Jack and the Beanstalk. I mean, I'm serious, it grew so tall. But the bean in the cellar, without any sun or good air, died. And at that point, I realized my connection to nature. I mean, we can help make things flourish, or we can make them die. And the bean that I locked in the cellar, well, it was the first time I realized how each living thing affects another and how much control and responsibility that we have to plants and animals and each other. How we're all related. We're all interrelated. By the way, you know, I, I won first prize in science fair. <laughs> it's the only prize I ever won academically. <laughs> this is for all of you who work so hard for our environment and for all of us who over our wa overwater our plants, turning them yellow with too much love. And to the memory of Jim Henson, creative genius, who left us with this thought tonight. Be kind to one another. It's not that easy being green. Having to spend each day the color of the leaves When I think it could be nicer Being red or yellow or gold Or something much more colorful like that It's not that easy being green It seems you blend in with so many other ordinary things People tend to pass you over Cause you're not standing out like flashy sparkles on the water Or stars in the sky But green's the color of spring And green can be cool and friendly Or important like a mountain 
It could make you wonder why But why wonder, why wonder I'm green and it'll do fine It's beautiful And I think it's what I want to be